in this lecture we will be looking into the concept called array you already studied array in java and c++ basically array is a collection of element of same type like array of marks array of salary array of uh, height array of uh, numbers etc but in this lecture we will be looking into array of integers only one type integer type only uh, first we will start with how to declare an array how to initialize an array so let's see the syntax of declaration of an array how to declare an array of let's say integers we will be looking into integer only first basically you need to write the name of an array you need to give a name to the array normally it ends with a variable name ends with a colon and you will be writing the storage type and we will be writing the number of bytes let's see one example let's say i would like to declare array of uh, five integers as i mentioned we will be looking into integer type arrays only now so let's say i would like to have an array of five integers uh, let's give the name to the array a and this is colon and the storage type here is space now i'm going to give a space or allocate a memory locations to the array a that's it we won't mention the type of the array now this space doesn't mention the data type of the array array is going to be of integers but in during the declaration we are not specifying the type of the elements we will be allocating storage space for the array that's it so space this is the type or a storage type or whatever and now here i will i have to write the number of bytes required for the five integers how do i calculate the number of bytes let's see how many elements are there in there i want to have a array of five integers so multiply five times four equal 20 so it just write 20 how do i get five times four what is the concept behind the five times uh, five times four is let's look into uh, memory assume that i would like to uh, I'm, I'm going to save the array in the memory five locations are there in the memory so this is memory and this is the five locations so the index of the array starts from 0 1 2 3 4 so five elements are there in my array basically one element requires 32 by bits when you say 32 bits it's equal to 4 bytes so one element requires 4 bytes or in terms of bits you can say 32 bits so here comes 4 bytes second element needs 4 bytes third element needs 4 bytes so i need 4 bytes 4 bytes 4 bytes another 4 and 4 so one element okay one integer needs 4 bytes in my array i'm going to have 5 integers so 5 times 4 equal to 20 bytes so this is the way we calculate how many bytes are required number of bytes it's now 20 if if you need an array of 3 integers so 3 times 4 12 bytes okay so this is declaration of array let's see initialization of array in initialization we declare and we assign initial values the syntax you give a name to the array you write a name followed by the colon and here the storage type you have to mention the storage type what type of data you are going to initialize followed by the initial values okay let's see example 
uh, one have array of three in integers so let's say array of three integers as I mentioned already we are going for, uh, we are going to see only integer type array not other type of arrays okay so let's see I'm going to initialize an array of three integers so let's say the name of the array is mark followed by the colon and integer here I'm going to give initial values for integer array so integer the storage type is word as you studied already before word for integer three integers so give any initial values 0 1 0 so these are the initial values so in your memory three locations are allotted for the array 